Hi, Roman Luchuk here on how to build a house series. Okay, so the excavation is done, completed now, and there's a few things you want to be careful and look out for. Uh, this is one of the most important stages of the house. You want to make sure that the footing is on natural native soil uh, with no fill, and it has to have enough bearing capacity to bear the house, okay? Now, you might run into a whole bunch of different soil conditions at your excavation. Uh, we're on solid clay right now, and I personally go around push down on the bar uh, to make sure that the capacity is good and to make sure the bar is not going into the ground um, make sure you're not into any soft ground now you may be in you may be into a whole bunch of different conditions uh, in our area there's generally five different soil conditions um, we have sandy conditions we have clay conditions we have rubble conditions uh, we have rock conditions and we even have uh, slate conditions um, now to put the footing on any of these uh, bases is fine. You just have to make sure that it's undisturbed soil and it has enough bearing capacity for uh, your house. Now, uh, if you see dark, uh, soft conditions, real dark soil, um, and it has actually a smell to it too, you can smell it right away, uh, that's a strong indication that you're on uh, uh, fill or you're not on soil conditions or you're on organic conditions. Um, you want to avoid that. You may have to dig those areas out okay so that's very important uh, if you're not sure um, you could ask your excavator your excavator who has a lot of experience has a good idea whether you're on native soil or not and also if you're on if you're unsure you're uh, you need to call a soil engineer the soil engineer uh, will come and he'll look at the soil conditions he'll probe the footing areas um, to make sure they're fine to go ahead and pour the footing so the inspector, your building inspector may know or he may not know, but you can't really rely on that.